pull me down, cause niggas leave it to sell. Yes. They don't fuck with me, cause me, I know them pretty yeah. really well. Only give you interviews to show you how I really felt. Yeah. I went on BBC, cause come like you want pull me Yo guys, welcome. This is 1957 News. My name is Neno Dumpler. Welcome again to the show. This is AM to PM. We come to you Monday to Friday. I mean, check us out on our YouTube channel. Subscribe. We bring you all the gist you want to see. We bring you everything you want to see. Everything happening in the entertainment sector, politics, etc. Today, we are talking about the most decorated artist in Ghana, Kinsak. And I started the, the show with his, his music because this music, Sakho, they released in 2014, has re-echoed a whole new vibe, a whole new conversation, a whole new beef on Twitter that I'm going to be sharing with you. So, Sarko there granted an interview to somebody outside the country, um, a platform outside the country, and he was speaking about the fact that if you are a Ghanaian DJ, you are a Ghanaian uh, presenter, and you've been working in Ghana for the past 20 years, where, as they work for Ghana for 20 years, you know go BBC, you know their choice, you know they uh, CNN, you have no moral right to criticize him. That's what Sarko said. Let me play that video for you. When I come back, I'll be telling you some reactions I'm getting or we are getting from some celebrities, some public faces, outspoken people, and my thoughts as well. Let's watch that video. So until we, you know, we'll be build on ourselves to that point, that complaint, and it'd be easy for somebody to sit on radio and tell this, I already know do this. Sarko didn't know do this. I'm not saying we don't have, we, we, are, we the artists, we have things we can do still, because yeah. every time there's like a step. But if you did radio for Ghana for close to 20 years, where you know if you can enter choice for here mm. or BBC, I don't think you have the moral right to talk about artists where they Ghana where you don't move. Because me, I go BBC because come now the more way you make a go. Right. Because as a Ghanaian, we did there. If I ask Ghana, if you get chance to go to choice FM, the first thing we talk, this thing like we do for choice. For real. I don't tell we make a camp do indigo. For real. Because in the Ghanaian, we get access. So you put people on. So that the whole ecosystem is. New people for move, no be only artists, Pro promoters for here for stop. They think about we we'll do Ghana show, we we'll go there some corner, bring the Ghana artists come day there, put them for some room back in history. They be out because they be out. People will tell you won't ride on what you do, but that's it. that be history. If you tell you that it's possible, say you go to do them as I do the Apollo, then all the boys for Nigeria to be very fair, go we'll do any proper venue. Nobody give me in history the time that time I do up. They never do. Okay, so welcome. Let me digest the first part of the video. Okay, the first part of what Sakode said. So he's saying that if you did Ghana, where you know you know upgrade yourself, you know go the BBC, you know go the Choice Song, you know go a uh, CNN, you have no moral right to criticize him. But I found that a little bit disturbing because comparing music and then journalism, it's a whole different ball game. Music and how musicians travel or how musicians pick awards or how musicians share their stuff or get people to hear them has nothing to do with how journalism is. I mean, journalism has to do with sharing information. I mean, like, it's a whole... I don't know why... I don't know which perspective Sarkozy was coming from. Probably Kentucky is speaking the fact. Probably he's spitting the fact. But the example he used, for me, is too shallow. I mean, I said this on Instagram yesterday that for Sarkozy to say this... You know, people who, who study communications and people who are into logical reasoning, there is a, a fallacy called tukukwe, which simply means, look who is talking. So tukukwe has to do with the fact that somebody has criticized you, and you look at the person up and down and be like, you criticized me, have you done what I have done? But Skinsack, the fact that musicians or the fact that Ghanaian journalists are known BBC or some Ghanaian journalists are known BBC, CNN in choice, doesn't mean they can't criticize you. Some people were reminding Kensak on Twitter yesterday that um, he's one person among all musicians that the radio or traditional media took him up there. I mean, remember the time of uh, Kasahari level on Adom? It's, it's, when they say Kasahari level, the first thing that comes in mind is the show that puts Sarkodie on. Okay, so for Sarkodie to tell us today that journalists cannot criticize him because They've not been on BBC and Choice. That is that is a little bit too low for me. I mean, Kensa, the argument could have been quite better. You could have given a proper example. That example Kensa gave to me was not okay. But some celebrities and public figures, some people who criticize stuff on social media, have been reacting to what Kensa said about the fact that if you've not been on the BBC, you've not been on 
whatever, you shouldn't try and then come and criticize him. So I'll be reading some of those comments for you. But on Twitter, on Instagram yesterday, I mean, it's, it's, the whole thing has been all over social media. And funny enough, I posted that uh, what Sakode said to me was a bit shallow and that um, he should have argued better. I lost a follower yesterday because he felt I was rather too shallow and I can't speak to the fact that what, I can't share my thoughts on what Kim Saka said. Um, that is just by the way, but I mean, I just have to inform you that that is how emotional some SAC natives can be. Now, DJ Slim of ABN Radio 1 in Kumase also came at SAC with the same argument. And trust me, they really went at him. So he said that when SAC when Sarko uh, started music, the likes of Wizkid, Davido, um, and some of the Nigerian artists who are doing well right now were kids. So Sarko is not really doing well. That, that's, that, that's the impulse of what he wanted to say. And somebody also came at him and told him, Oh, DJ Slim, the time you started doing me, you started DJ, now DJ switched to be more in poppy in smell, in spam. But right now, DJ switched the international way you did Ghana. Uh, they use some image be now DJ uh, DJ switch uh, DJ Wabro she and a DJ Slim so what gonna own um, say drink be uh, some alcoholic beverage which I don't want to mention the name and the people were saying that the time you were doing that thing way the time you you did DJ now this girl she didn't pop in spare but tonight she be international past you the famous and the untouchable bongo ideas also had this to say Sarko is telling Ghana journalists to make it to the BBC before they could criticize artists it's an unwise statement this same media supported your career from scratch. Kasahare, Mache to your first BET. They made you. That audacity should at least come from a Grammy winner. You know, this boy, he always come with a buzz. He said the audacity for somebody to say Ghanaian journalists can't criticize him should come from somebody who has won the Grammy. So if Sakode has not won the Grammy yet, he shouldn't tell Ghanaian journalists not to criticize him. And that was a comment he also made on Twitter yesterday. Um, let me try to read more. So I told you yesterday that some, somebody unfollowed me on Twitter, on Instagram because of the state statement. So let me read what Miss G also had to say about this. They say, my understanding of Sarkozy's message is simple. Whilst you are beckoning, critiquing, or aiding others to grow, don't be stagnant. Grow, diversify, add value to yourself and your craft. Just don't be, don't, just don't be the same as you were two, five, ten years ago or even last year. And I, I told Ms. G that in that case, Ghanaian journalists have always grown. I see your growth, Gloria. Is that not worth noting? And she came back to reply, I'm grateful, but I never reach a beg. There is more work in the pipeline. So that is what Ms. G also told me with regards to this. Now, DJ Slim, the guy who really took Sarkozy on, um, this morning we are told he's lost his Twitter handle has been reported by supposed Sark natives. And this will let me say that SAC natives are untouchable. They never they carry last. If you really go at SAC or they then go go at you. So when I posted my 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 reaction um, about this on Twitter, Reggie Rackstone came under my post and said, constructively is the word. Now seed. Uh, Reggie, I don't really understand the N U F F seed and then the thank you or okay, this emoji. I don't really understand that. But He's also trying to okay the fact that if you want to criticize Sarkodie, you should criticize him constructively. Now, Hyperlink also came to write this under my post. If you listen well, you should understand how great my net Sarkodie is. No, he doesn't need to understand on a surface level. Well, so that's what he has to say. So I also replied to him that I said, bro, he shouldn't say that to present, he shouldn't say presenters shouldn't criticize him until they are recruited by the BBC or the international media. That that's where my problem is. So my problem with Sarkozy's statement is the fact that the comparison of being on BBC before they should criticize him is my problem. Now, Sarkozy, in the song I played to you early on, said, let me, let me just play that part for you so you listen. You see, Sarkozy said in this song in 2014, the same, I mean, everything he said here is what is reflecting now. He's saying that influential people sit in their homes and they don't support him. And that's a palpable lie. 
The fact that somebody picks a phone to tweet about Ken Sack alone is enough support. The fact that an influential person writes about you or a blogger writes about you or somebody plays your song is enough support. I don't know what kind of support Ken Sack is talking about. But if we talk about people in this media space or people in our space or entertainment space who's been helped or supported by musician, Ken Sack should be number one. So Sir Kwade said this in 2014. Or say Utsigana for 20 years. So this time he said MTV. The last time he spoke about this in 2014. He spoke about, if you say, you'd be good, go host show for MTV. But today he's talking about BBC and CNN. Yeah. So Shatawale also came in this. I mean, you know, Shata will always come to talk about something like this. So he also came to write on Twitter, um, on Twitter, on his Twitter. Let me just try and locate that tweet for you. Um... Hello everybody, shout out to everyone. Yeah, I did on Twitter right now where they say, you know, King Sag, they talk about a couple of issues and a couple of things and i go like yeah those are the things we need to be talking about nobody should fight sakura for whatever he has said nobody should fight sakura for whatever he's saying sakura is being real he's being real to himself he's being real to the universe he's being real to the planet he's being real to the world that yeah we have certain things that we need to repair in our industries for us to go on basically me when i sit down if the calculations that they do i get what i'm saying a whole lot of people have been saying, so shut up, when are you releasing your album? Shut up, when are you making this happen? Shut up, when are you doing this? Shut up, when are you doing this? I say, yo, if you guys don't change your mentalities, how you want me to come just release album, then you can start comparing me. Every day, compare, 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 compare. And then we repairs. Every day, compare, 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 compare. And then we repairs. That's that side of Shatawale. He spoke sense. I mean, he spoke sense. At the end, you know he will add some hilarious stuff to it. Yeah. So, um, I don't know what you make of all this, but my stand is that Sakode spoke some facts. You see, getting to the end of, let me just play that to you as well. Getting to the end of his statement, Sakode said he went on BBC because Kwamla Dumo put him on. And that is to say that if we have more Ghanaian, Ghanaians in the other or in the international media, they are going to put Ghanaians on. I'm not fighting that. But you don't need Ghanaians to be working or you don't need Ghanaians to be seen on BBC, on TV, before you know there are Ghanaians working there. I personally know some few Ghanaians who are in Ghana, but they work for the BBC, BBC Africa, they work for other, like, affiliates of BBC. And they really put, I mean, how does BBC know something that's happening in Ghana? I know one guy has Joy News who works for BBC. I know another guy, another lady at Joy, she's no more there, but she used to work for BBC. I don't know if she still works for them. So you don't need the Ghanaians to be on BBC to put you on. That, that's also not to say that Ghanaians, Ghanaian radio people or presenters are not growing. Ghanaian radio people are growing by the day. Listen, you see a radio presenter in a certain way today, his delivery, his or her delivery, his analytic skills, and you see the person the next day. The person is no more like that. Let me use the people like someone like Belamundi. Belamundi has grown, like she's really grown from hosting entertainment shows, from hosting campus shows and doing all the rest. Now she's hosting one, she's hosting one of the biggest morning shows in the country. So when you say Ghanaian journalists are not growing, that is not true. You don't need Ghanaian journalists to be working on BBC, CNN to know they are growing. These people are really growing. And the journey of a musician is very, very, very different from a journey of a journalist. And so Kinsak, maybe Kinsak has to come again, but those are his thoughts. We can't crucify him for this, but we just have to share our thoughts on that as well. So as we speak, while one DJ Slim has lost his account, he, he's been suspended. Of course, Sack natives, they never they carry last. If you go at them, they'll go at you. They'll report your account and Charlie that be it. So that is that is what's happening on Twitter with Star Cody, DJ Slim, um, DJ Switch, and other musicians. Reg Reston has been reacting and other musicians have been reacting. Let me know what you think about what's happening in this space and what I've shared with you today. Do well to subscribe to our channel. Kindly share this video to your friends out there. Help the 1957 news to grow. And AM to PM came to stay. If you have a product, you can place your products on our, on our videos at a very low cost. Reach out to us. 
via um, the email you see or via our social media at the 1957 news i had production assistance from george and we'll catch you guys on the flip side until then you're caught cool.